All right. You find yourself in the death, death touched catacombs. Catacombs. Cat, cat, catacombs. There's a big door up ahead, but you know it's locked with the two death statues. And then there's a casket and some red stuff, and uh, it's root resin. And then you get the little summon pool thing. So you can summon friends to play the game with you. Skeletons start coming to life as you make your way downstairs. You hit the skeleton after it's already dead, and it stays dead. But there's another skeleton. Fortunately, he's kind of an idiot. I'm not sure if the same skeleton just got up, or if it was a different skeleton. But you're doing a pretty good job of, of killing the skeletons and keeping them down. There's a small doorway with a note from one of your compatriots, and it says, Armament Ahead. All right, I'll rate that message good. There's a skeleton with a bow and arrow. I'll beat on him. Just absolutely beat on him. He gets up, and none of the stuff you did mattered. Beat on him again! Ah! There's another one, and he's got a scimitar! He's one of those Dark Souls 3 skeletons. He's not as cool as the other Elden Ring skeletons. He's like a regular skeleton guy. You get a human bone shard from him, though, and then you find a grave glove wart. Also, there's some more stuff in in the whatever you call that. You know what it is when there's like graves in the walls? What's that called? A, a mausoleum, I think. I'm not sure that's right, but that's what we'll call it. This scimitar skeleton is whipping your ass, you idiot. I'll use magic. He's also given you a bone shard. What the hell is the bone shard? Ask me. After you've uh, killed this last guy, and we'll read the item together. A human bone shard is, in fact, Uh, I would, I, just, I thought it'd be crafting material. Me too. Wait, that was the same voice. Me too. Yes, yes it is. Okay. It's found by hunting those who live in death. Fragment of bone with done mottling. Material used for crafting item. Found by those who, uh, found by hunting those who live in death. Lamentably brittle, it crumbles at the slightest caress. Oh, also those weren't items I lied to you. It's just candles in the in the mausoleum thing. Crypt! That's it! Crypt! Of course. Thank you, son of Sparta. Boy, I'm just really throwing all these skeletons at you. There's not much going on in this dungeon, it's just skeletons. You gotta remember to hit them, though, you idiot, after they're dead. How come they don't parry anymore, Dungeon Master? You remember when they used to parry you? I think maybe these are like, you know, early game skeletons. So, so they don't have that, maybe. They do have scimitars, and they do be swinging. Just a swingin'. Remember that John Anderson song? Wasn't that just awful? There's one with a bow and arrow! He's up above you. Alright, I'm gonna leave him alone because I can't kill him anyway. You've found the lever with some purple flowers nearby. It's Grave Violet. Somewhere a heavy door has opened. Also, you found a blood rose. That's the first one of those that you've ever seen. The blood rose, of course, is, uh...
It blooms in blood-soaked soil. There's a skeleton coming at you, by the way. No, he's just chilling. He's just back there. Uh, nope, he's coming again. He sees you reading. He knows you're reading. It's particularly beloved by those who serve the Lord of Blood. Glory to his inevitable something. You better heal. Oh, he's a rolling. He's a swinging. He's a comboing. Oh, I get it. Those who live in death. And and you have to hit them. You're not, you're this, they live in death. The thing you're killing is not the skeleton. It's the spirit that inhabits the skeleton. They live in death. I get it. Very well, good job. Good job, Miyazaki. Good stuff. This is a great, uh, what do you call it? You know when you play Dungeons and Dragons and you get one of those uh, books and it's just got like a pre-made campaign? What are those called? This is one of those, you know? It's like that. A module! Thank you, Yukon McGee. You get some grave violet and uh, grave glove wart. There's another door. Remember? Oh, you found the you found the skeleton archers. Oh, he hit. <laughs> you got really close to the skeleton archer, and he stabbed you with an arrow at melee range. That was pretty cool, actually. I wonder if that's an ability you can get in the game. Your friend told you that there was an armament and you didn't find one. Did he lie to you? Did he deceive you? All right, well, let's go back and look. You got the Uchi Katana. He didn't lie to you. You straight up got a Katana now. It takes um, 15 dexterity. It has a passive effect of causes blood loss buildup. A Katana with a long, single-edged, curved blade. A unique weapon wielded by the Samurai from the Land of Reeds. The blade with its undulating design boasts extraordinary sharpness and its slash attack causes blood loss. Its skill is unsheath. Sheath blade, holding it at the hip in a composed stance. Follow up with a normal or strong attack to perform a swift slash attack. So it's like an Aijitsu thing. Yes. All right, well, let's go see what the boss is. Oh, it's a dead guy. You just know it is. But you're gonna get some of that beef eater death beast stuff that that guy loves so much. Yeah, but like, what kind of undead is it? Is it gonna be like a skeleton? A zombie? It's. The Black Knife Assassin! It's a zombie in cool armor using a weird sword with a spike on it. And then another smaller spike on the other side. 
and he's shambling at you. Just a shambling, like a zombie does. Uh, I'm going to cast Magic Glint Blade, and he dashes to the side, but he's an idiot, so it doesn't matter. You're just smoking his ass. He looks, he looks all the way fucked up. He's already, like, really hurt. I want to try and parry him. You do! It, it kind of looks like uh, the dancer of the Boreal Valley, kind of. Yeah, I can see that. Most of your meteors miss. But man, that, uh, that glint blade, that messes him up. And when you charge the spell, he dashes. He dashes when you cast, not when the spell actually shoots off. He's an idiot. Anyway, you got the assassin's crimson dagger. So, like, that's nice. You got that at least. Um, the assassin's crimson dagger. What's that do? It's not a weapon, <laughs> strangely enough. It is, in fact, um, a talisman. Critical hits will restore your hit points. Also, that bull goat one you got, that one raises your poise. And the sacred scorpion, oh, you already read that one. You know about that one. Um, so that's pretty good, right? Yeah, that's all right, I'll take that. Also, there's a treasure chest. Inside of it, a death root. So that's the thing you need to feed to the beastie eater guy. And that's it. That's the dungeon. You did a good job. Thanks. Thanks for hanging out. I'll see you. I'll see you next time you come into a place that's a dungeon. All right. Sounds good. Let's get the hell out of here. All right. Now where to? Uh, big encampment full of uh, enemies. Dogs. Some exalted flesh. Let's go in here. Let's let's mess around a little bit. This is like the first time we've actually been somewhere we're supposed to be. Let's see what happens, right? Like, that's the toughie, right? That's the tough guy. Alright, let's get rid of the dog. Just set it and forget it. Uh-oh. I can't believe that parry didn't work. You know? Woo! Jeez! Oh, wow. The range. Uh-oh. Oh, my goodness. This dude's actually... Like... It's, it's, it's kind of nice, actually. He's a challenge. But I can beat him! What the hell is this? Oh, I think he's gonna drop us something. Oh, he's not gonna drop us something. That guy's gonna drop us something. 
They have, a, like, a special thing that pops off when they're gonna drop you an item. Oh, there's a treasure chest. Sweet. Black Crest Heater Shield. I like the sound of that. Ah! Oh, it's making me fat roll. I don't like that. Okay. Um, that's all right. <clears throat> we could stand to... Change our fashion up a little bit. So how would we get up there? Ah, oh, there's a little, uh, path. Mm, I think we'd have to, I think we'd have to get up there from below, or I'm sorry, from above. I don't think, I don't think we're getting up there any other way. Well, that was cool. It's nice to be back in a spot where the, it feels like I'm kind of supposed to be. I'm cool with that. Oh, snap! It's a War Master Shack. Not seen you before. Name's Bernard. Tarnished, just like you. Let me ask you something. Are you here in the lands between to take up the fight? Does your faith in the guidance of grace hold firm, despite the collapse of the Golden Order? I think so. I think I think that it does. Yes, you're a tarnished through and through. Takes me back. But that's a quality needed now more than ever. Any interest in bearing the torch of my battle arts? All I know is the sword. Picked up a fair few tricks in my time, too. Now's the time to pass them on. To a good and proper tarnished, like you. Okay, now this guy sounds like... Uh... The Beast Eater from uh, Bloodborne. Valter. Oh, snap! Ash of War, stamp. Upward cut. Ash of War, kick. Ash of War, endure. Oh, that's Perseverance. Uh, Ash of War, War Cry. Spinning Slash. Impaling Thrust. Quick Step. Usable on all melee armaments. <laughs> uh, Ash of War, Storm Blade. Ash of War, Parry. Ash of War, no skill. So, um... Okay. You, take a look here. Heavy. You, this will... If you choose, this will give you, uh... You know, the heavy infusion on your weapon. Heavy. 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 Keen, which is sharp. Keen. Keen. Quality. Standard. Standard. There's a myriad of battle arts in these lands that I've yet to discover. Mementos of all the warriors who raised their arms in battle, lost and died. A fine tale, all told of true chivalric romance. 
That's how I fell in love with the sword and the arts of combat. It grants meaning even to falling in battle, to death itself. If I'm not mistaken, that's a voice in uh, Dark Souls 2 as well. Not floating your boat, eh? Well, there's no rush. Knowledge of the arts can wait another day. Uh, yeah, maybe also Aegon of, of uh, Kareem from Dark Souls 3. Uh, Frog Nation is like, you know, they, they, they do all of the... They do the, the localization for the game. And then they also have <clears throat> like a guild of voice actors that they use. Which is why you always like hear the same voice actors in the Souls games, with the exception of Sekiro, because they didn't use Frog Nation for that. Fire arrows. I know where I'm at now. I finally know where I'm at. I'm back. I'm back in the network test area. In the network test, this was a miracle, I think. Or whatever they call them in this game. Oh, in this game, it's a stone sword key. Cool. Storm Hill's shack, and now we have an NPC hanging out here. Everyone's been grafted. Everyone who came with me. They crossed the sea for me. They fought for me. <laughs> Only to have their arms taken. Their legs taken. Even their heads taken. Taken and stuck to the spider. Did you know? If you're grafted by the spider, you become a chrysalid. It's quite a lark when you think about it. You're all on your own, are you? And heading to Stormvale Castle. Enticed by the one in the white mask, I suppose. Oh, you've come to be one with the spider? Well, that makes us two peas in a pod. But I don't have your courage. It's scary, you know, having your arms cut off. Or legs. Or your head. I want to be like everyone else, but I'm just too scared. I'm nothing but a craven. Jesus Christ. Just... I'm telling you, man. Dark Souls? Yeah, sure. Definitely. But, like, equal parts Silent Hill. This entire, like... Oh, I know. They really went... Take this little one along with you. They went all in with this stuff. Spirit. Jellyfish ashes. The poor thing deserves someone braver than myself. And... The spirits look rather fondly upon you. It'll be glad of your company, I think, the little one. It was a pleasure to see you. Oh, can you pass on a message for me? If you see the little chrysalids in Stormvale Castle, tell them I love them. And that, despite my craven heart, I'm sure I'll be joining their club soon enough. I'm finally getting the hang of this whole pain thing, you know? I liked it better when the NPCs were just like, they would laugh insane. Like, you know what I mean? When the NPCs were like, oh, I'm gonna laugh and, you know, it's like I'm obviously insane or whatever. It's like, alright, well, cool, you're insane. The fact that they're just like, yeah, the world's most terrible words are coming out of my mouth. And you're like, oh, okay, okay. And then they, they just like, they just let it be flat. They just let it, you know what I mean? Like they don't laugh. It's like, oh no. 
Oh, I liked it better when y'all were crazy. Um. Okay. Now, time out. In the network test. There was a dung beetle up here. Oh, give me something good, baby. Godric Soldier Helm. Yes! Give me something good, baby! Heavy crossbow. Uh, in the network test, there was a dung beetle up here. And that sword magic that I was using in the network test, this is, this is where you got it. hear it. Oh, please. Okay. <laughs> the game's just like, hey, here's a tutorial on bow and arrows. Worth. Ah. Wild strikes. Okay, so they changed it. They changed it. Which is, you know, I, I assumed they were going to change some stuff, but... We had to check, you know? We had to test. another golden seed, but we are to the point where it takes two golden seeds for me to level up my Estus, so, or my flask. Um, so that's not something that we need to immediately be worried about. Oh! People told me this dude was in the network test and that I just missed him. And now I see it. It's another one of those things. One of those bowls. They keep giving me this FP regen item. Starlight shards. Yeah, they keep giving me that. Yeah, I never made it over here in the network test. Now, this is close to where you fight a giant. He, like, drops down into that little pit uh, with some soldiers. But there's this thing. I remember this thing. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Stormhill Everjail. What do you guys think about it? No comfort ahead. By the way, still no comfort. Oh, they changed that. That's different. Jesus Christ, that's different. Oof! If I'm wanting to press R2, maybe I could get one there. I can get one here. Maybe here. Oh! Oh, that was weird. I was close enough he should have gone for his combo, but he didn't. He didn't do it there either, even though I thought I was close enough. One, two, three. Got sleepy. Scorpion tail. Oh, the scorpion tail, even though I wasn't behind him. Kidding me? What? from the rock. Ah, I tried to come out with uh, a weapon switch. Mm. All right, just be careful, just be careful. Good, 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 I think. 
hell? That's so ridiculous, bro! <laughs> Stop it, Saint, you idiot! All right, let's get this under control. All we gotta do is just get it under control. Heal. Just hitting him a few times. Just hitting him a few times. No big deal. There it is. That's how you do it. All right. GG's, baby! What a great boss. What a great boss. Top notch. Top notch. That was great. I loved that.